Hey, what's happening guys? Happy Saturday to you. Um, the other day when I did the video on uh, the Tiki Torch teardown, somebody had commented and, and said that that's all people do anymore is program microcontrollers. And I commented back and I said, I agree with you. There's just really no finesse in electronics anymore. So I thought I would make this little video to show you something that I think is a little bit interesting, has a little bit of finesse to it, and challenge you guys to come up with something too. Now, if you take a look here at what we got going on, what do you see? Well, you see an LED, a capacitor, a resistor, and a transistor. And you might notice something a little interesting. That base on the transistor is floating free. It's not connected to anything. And this is a 2N2222. So it is emitter base collector starting from the left. So what you see here is uh, our, we're putting 12 volts in here VCC. This is our load resistor coming down, going into the emitter, coming out the collector, going to the LED, going to ground. And in parallel across the transistor is a 100 microfarad electrolytic capacitor. What we have here might be kind of deceiving because this is actually a single transistor oscillator. And it is actually oscillating right now. If uh, I take the probe here and we'll probe the output, which is actually the collector in this case, of the transistor. Hold on, I got the light on. Okay, what do we see there? We see a sawtooth wave pattern at about 30 hertz. So that's weird, right? This transistor is operating in the reverse avalanche mode. It's a reverse breakdown operation of the transistor. And this will work with most NPN transistors, but two things you might have to play around with are the voltage. It definitely needs around 12 volts to uh, overcome the breakdown voltage. And even if you have a bunch of uh, 2222s, you might have to try a bunch of different ones till you get it to work. Uh, in my case, I ended up having to go through three of them. It was the third one that actually started the oscillation. Now, the speed of the oscillation is controlled by the uh, capacitor here. Now, we looked at that and we saw about 30 hertz, which is why this appears to be solid. So, if we double up, I don't have any uh, 200, so we're just going to throw in another 100 um, microfarad capacitor in parallel with the first one. Remember, capacitors in parallel doubles your capacitance. If I can get it to go in. Come on. There you go. All right. So now maybe you can see a little bit of oscillation there. So let's get up here once again, and we will... Too many wires floating around in here. We'll probe the output and rotate up. And what do we see? Well, look at that. Now we're at about 15 hertz. So by increasing the capacitance, we can increase, or I'm sorry, decrease the frequency. See, yeah, you can definitely see the flicker there. Let me make it a little bit darker. It really didn't help, did it? <laughs> All right, let's try this. I'm going to pull out these two. 100 nanofarad and here is a uh, 2200 let's see what this does I haven't tried this yet so hmm it is not going all the way off is it I can see it pulsing can you see it pulsing Let's uh let's probe that output. 
Let's see what we get here. Interesting. It is pulsing, but... I wonder why that is. If you guys have any ideas, let me know. Let's try a, I got. I think I've got one other larger capacitor here. Yeah. I've got a, a 3300. Let's see if I can coax it into the old breadboard and see what we can get. In the holes you go. Come on. Is it going in there? No, not particularly. Let's go back to our uh, two 100s. Make sure we put those in the right way. Otherwise, things could go bang. We don't want that to happen again. Yeah, okay, hold on. I got room. Maybe I can get one more in there. All right, I found another 100. Let's see if I can find a spot to get her in there. Hmm. Huh. That should have cut us down to somewhere around 7. Let's see what we're getting. Well, it says it's below 10. Let me roll up here. Yeah, saying it's below 10. And... Let's uh, measure. Okay. Yeah. One moment, please. So I added the uh, the frequency measurement down here. Nine point nine point nine. I thought it would have been lower, about seven. But what I always tell you guys, things are never exact when it comes to electronics. You're always going to have loss, parasitic capacitance, and the like. But you can definitely see it is oscillating there. And I think that's pretty cool. So I'm just going to yank out these extra guys for now. And if we rotate back up, you can see we are back. Wow. For some reason, it seems to think we're over a kilohertz. That's not correct. Okay, there we go. We're back to 30 hertz. So that's pretty cool. I hope you guys enjoyed this. If you did, give me a thumbs up. Feel free to comment, share, and don't forget to subscribe. Big thanks to all the patrons. That's it. I'm out. Peace.